How's it going everybody? Welcome to my newest series of Fallout 4. This one is by special request because I made a Fallout 4 best build uh, video and this is going to be loosely based on that with a few tweaks. Um, that one was mostly made for what I think is the strongest for what most people would want to play with. I think this is similar to that but this is to exactly how I prefer to play. So the um, as you can see up here Everything is the same except strength is up to six and that's because I got the special book which you can find in your home Under the crib. So if you didn't know that there's a first tip So yeah, this is going to be a weekly series where uh, the episodes will be 45 minutes to an hour I plan unless y'all prefer longer um, and It's going to be a guide to permadeath survival 100% uh, best build progression and tips and obviously like best build is pretty opinionated so this is, in my opinion, the best build that you can possibly have. So um, to begin, I actually start at level 11. And I know a lot of people, or a few people, I guess, aren't going to like this. But I destroyed all of Sanctuary and made it into shelves. Now, depending on your idiot savant luck and your build, you'll get to level 11 to 13, generally. Now, why I do that is because, as a guide, I'm trying to give you all the best opportunity for survival. And so... Yeah, so that, that's the best way to survive, in my opinion. <clears throat> so if you're not going to do that, the best progression that you can go with is going to be... Uh, I have two per ranks into Idiot Savant, just because uh, it, it boosts your uh, your experience as you go. But uh, with your second perk, I would actually go with Scrounger. Then I would go with Lone Wanderer. Then I would go with something like Commando or whatever weapon you're going to use. Uh, I think automatic weapons are the best type of weapons in the game as far as uh, DPS goes and all that good stuff. So next is gun, uh, should be Gun Nut. And then you're going to go back to Scrounger. And obviously I have enough uh, perk points where I could just spam them into these. But this is the exact order I would do if I were to not uh, cheese my way to this level. And this is just because the early game is super harsh. So um, you could go with science next, but science actually isn't really going to make much sense considering we don't have a laser pistol. So I would save the next one for rifleman, and then I would just go another rank into commando. So rifleman's going to be a great perk that we're going to have coming up. You're also going to get gun nut rank two. So a couple things that you can try and do actually is you can go to red rocket and, oops, I don't really want this actually. And you could fight everything there and try and level up to level 13 so you don't waste adhesive on stuff you don't need. But I'm not too worried about all that. Um, my first bit of advice would be to hotkey everything that you want. So first I'm going to, oh, you can't do that. You have to have it angled. Sometimes it'll freeze up. But as I was saying, this will be a, uh, just while I have it on my mind, this will be a, a weekly series. If y'all if y'all want it more, um, more often let me know and be sure to leave a like if y'all enjoy the series so that I can a it helps the channel but b it'll also help uh, me get a good gauge of how much people are enjoying the series and whatnot so yeah I would create your drugs first buff tats can be good for strength and endurance but psycho jet is great period for just general com uh, combat so after that you have a couple things you could do you could actually wrap around over here and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show y'all where the earliest bit of armor is in the game. Although it's not great armor, it is going to be, as I know, some of the only armor that you can get from uh, or get this early in the game. So what I usually do is I head over to... So you're actually going to find that there's dogs and bloat flies around here. So you want to be careful, but you can pretty much avoid them if you're uh, careful which I'm not being too careful because I'm getting rather close to where they would spawn in at, but uh, you can always run across the water um, if need be. They don't have ranged attacks, so you should be good. Now, generally, I wouldn't use Molotovs like I have equipped right now, but uh, if you do, you're going to want to make sure you have an exact line of fire. I guess not fire, which shouldn't be the word, oh, arc. Um, it'll also clip onto trees rather easily <coughs> and at really early levels especially it'll kill you pretty pretty much more consistently than anything else in the game so okay so we have our pipe pistol 
equipped. So I'm actually going to try and get a... Oh, shit. <laughs> a line. And just chunk those over there. Now, he is going to be able to do a considerable amount of damage to us. But if we can kill him before he can do that damage, we're all good. So that is the... This early game, especially, is going to be the easiest way to die. Um, probably in the whole game, honestly. You're going to have the most deaths early. So just be aware of that. You may die early game. But if you want to be sure you don't die, I would go to Red Rocket first. Because that will ease you into the game. And make it so that it's not so bad of a learning curve. So actually, if you take this bucket off, you can find uh, some empty beer bottles and... Nuka Cola balls. No, those empty bottles, I filled some of them up off screen. You're, those are actually going to be good for um, basic needs like water. So I'll go ahead and hotkey. Uh, usually I hotkey my food in the second slot, and then I'll just switch out whatever uh, food I have at the time into the next slot. Um, and then there's, like, like I said, there's those dogs that we... We didn't run across, but I told you about. And you're going to want to make sure that you avoid those. So if you run along this fence, you should be okay. And I like to go up to this raider shack. And I'll actually hotkey some explosives. I'm only using explosives right now because I'm trying to get to a uh, higher level so that I don't have to waste the duct tape early. Not that it's like that, that rare, but it's just going to help us a fair amount if we can uh, do it this way. So another thing is this build's not going to be based off a of sneak. We are going to have riflemen, so we will have the ability to snipe and whatnot, but it's not going to be based off of that. Okay, so that was a great grenade. So we're actually going to get away with no combat for this area, unless you want to run right into those bloat flies over there. So you'll also see occasionally when you... Uh, the bloat flies are right there, by the way. When you go to armor, sometimes it'll have a plus by it. That means that it's better than the current armor you have equipped. And you have an option to grab that if you please. But make sure if you see um, if you see vegetables that you can plant that you grab them. Because early game, that's actually going to be fantastic for one of the... I don't know if it's an unmarked quest, but it's a quest you do in Sh Sanctuary where you need vegetables. And there aren't a lot of them right around Sanctuary. You'd have to go to... Uh, the farm over there. I think it's it might be Abernathy, um, but off the top of my head, I can't quite remember. So, anyways, that's going to be your first bit of duct tape that you're going to find uh, in the game, and from there you can actually head on to Red Rocket. Like I said, I've looted the rest of this area, so everything else we should be good with. And before you leave, since the materials that you you just grabbed, not that we grabbed a lot, but we'll be able to probably make some more. Yep. Um, Psycho and then we can create psycho jet And actually since I'm using drugs, I don't usually use drugs, but since I'm trying to give you the easiest guide I'll put uh, drugs in the third bottom slot. So all my aid is going to be down explosives top and then weapons left and right and you have a bunch of slots, so That is um, a really good way to keep everything organized as you go and Luckily for us. We have a pretty bright day. It can be rainy. It can be foggy. It can be all sorts of stuff, but we have a really bright day, so good way to start the uh, playthrough for sure. And yeah, like I said, this series was by request. I made that playthrough, and a lot of people actually requested that I, <coughs> excuse me, make a series out of it. So that is how this became a thing. So if you enjoy it, like I said, leave a like. Um, I'm a small channel, so it. It helps that it helps me in that regard, but it also helps um, me understand just how much people are actually enjoying it and whether or not they are or not. So, yeah. And you're going to want to keep stim packs around as well hey boys, because stim packs are going to help you with uh, creating drugs as well as healing. Although we're not going to be healing all that much. Okay, greet the dog. And you might notice that I create a female. Okay, uh, I'm not really one of those people that prefers to play as females in games. However, there is a perk in this game called Black Widow that grants you 5, 10, and then 15 extra damage percent, percentage based points um, of damage against men. And what I've noticed is I think they tried to switch it up and like make it 50 50, but I've noticed that most of the 
harder enemies in this game are actually uh, they're actually going to be men. So that 15% damage ends up being a lot, especially with a bloody mess and things of that sort. Now you'll also notice that I have this quick save option. Um, the quick the quick save option is based on the uh, no sleep till bedtime perk or perk. What am I saying? Mod. Now I use that because uh, this game freezes a lot. It's actually I've tried to record this once already and it froze up. So that's kind of why I go that route um, in regards to that. Okay, so this is actually a pretty dangerous enemy as well. So I'm hoping we hit some shots on this. Okay. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage to us. Okay, and I'm like aiming like I can't aim. What the hell? Wouldn't let me uh, reload either, so that's lovely. Yeah, blood bugs are weird enemies. They, uh, they'll suck your blood and then they'll spit it back out at you, actually. So, kind of odd, but anyways, telephones are good because they're going to have circuitry, which circuitry is invaluable okay and then it <laughs> sounds also like the mole rats are coming for us so I'm, I'm gonna reload okay and I did say no followers so okay. that, uh, that I forgot to go over the rules actually so I'm not going with as many rules as my last doing, playthrough buddy? but I'm gonna go with no companions no power armor will you let me dismiss uh, can't die or the run is over and I must complete Jeez Louise. And I must complete the quest and go to every single How you uh, doing, buddy? marked location. Dismiss. Going home now. Okay. For some okay, so we can't dismiss them here because I see. Because we don't have this location yet. So if he were to here were to be here and just help us fight, then we would be allowed to do that. But um, other than that, no bueno. So yeah, I'm going to actually organize this area a little bit. Now, I am going to go keep scrounging for more materials. Materials are the name of the game early on. And you actually could scrap this area and um, I would call it like power leveling. You could power level up. It's kind of a cheesy method, but it actually really helps. This helmet's going to be good early game. So I would definitely bring that along for the ride. And if you please, you can power level, like I said. I'm probably not going to just for uh, time's sake and because it's really just to uh, boost you up for the time being so that you're not so vulnerable. And now, other than that, I think we're out of danger. So, and this first episode is just going to be me showing off the, uh, the basics of this build. Come on. Son of a gun. I gotta reload. The basics of the game and uh, the build as well. Whatever. I'll go get him in a second. So thank goodness we have that armor because it's actually giving us a bit of resiliency. So that we're not just getting completely killed. Alright, I don't know where he flew off to, but uh, I'll just continue on my way. And we're not really going to be using VATS in this. Now, you can make VATS builds that are really strong. However, my issue with those is that it usually takes away from the endurance tree. Because you have to go with high luck, high agility. And that means you have to take away from something. Which usually leaves um, your endurance low. And to be exact, it is probably going to be closer to 1. Where in God's name did this thing go? I prefer for it to not sneak up on me, but... That's alright, I suppose. Now, as you see, we're not really doing much damage. That's because I'm not using an automatic weapon. So, even though this is a pistol and it kind of is similar to an automatic weapon uh, and look, it's not automatic. So, we're not going to be doing nearly as much damage. That's how it works in this game is whatever perk uh, tree you choose is going to be the way that your character is tailored. Which is pretty obvious, but um, it, that's why we kind of look like we're shooting peas at the... Uh, opposition okay let's let's break through this without breaking our damn lock got it okay perfect and really all we care about is fusion cells for the time being let's see uh, where is he 
Okay, so he's coming back. Got him. So, yeah, fusion cell cells and uh, 38 ammo. Once we find a combat rifle, that can replace this gun. But we'll probably find a laser rifle before that. So I'm not too worried about um, that in that regard. Now what I do want to do is make sure... I'm also not going to allow myself to... Ah, no, I, I'll keep it. I'm trying to tr trying to keep this as fun as a playthrough as you possibly can without completely dousing myself in rules like the last one because it came to a point, if you watched my last playthrough, where we ran into the issue that we just weren't doing enough, enough damage. Um, I could do the playthrough and I could have beat it for sure. It would have just been almost impossible though. I mean, it just... The amount of damage I wasn't doing, I, I basically allowed myself to use a 10 millimeter and a hunting rifle for the full game uh, with a, um, restrictions to legendary effects like bleeding and explosive on the pistol. So yeah, so this one should be uh, a lot quicker too because I'll be rushing around, I won't be doing any sneaking. This build will do as little sneaking as possible solely because I think uh, sneak at the beginning is really good where you can get the first shot, shot off in battle and then after that, especially once you get late into the game, uh, you're going to be doing so much damage output that it won't even be funny. So, yeah. Actually, another thing I'll show you about no sleep till bedtime is you actually have to turn it on, which I'm not certain I have turned it on. So what I would do is go in here, <coughs> turn auto save on, and now it should be on. So. Yeah, we should be able to scurry around the map and whatnot a little bit, a little bit better without freezing. So that way, if I freeze, I can just uh, edit it out and all that good stuff. Because if you watch my last series, you'll understand just how much we're uh, freezing on a regular basis. And I don't really want that ashtray. Ashtrays are good if you're using power armor, but uh, where is it? 30 ashtray but yeah we're not gonna be doing that so we're actually good to go so if you go down here you're gonna find a good bit of pretty decent materials anytime you see a toolbox or a toolbox like that is a good chance to find um, some adhesive which adhesive is fantastic in the early game um, and I've, I've said it before, but I think I've said it already, but you want to make sure be able to pick this. that you're focusing on weapons over armor in the early game. Reason being is because, oh, that's a great drop. Reason being is because weapons are um, better to upgrade because you're not, you're going to be using them for a longer period of time than armor. So an example of this would be if I had a full suit of leather armor, by the time that I leave, um, is this Lexington? I can't even remember what this place is called. I'll spend a lot of time here. Conquered. I'm an idiot. By the time you leave Conquered, you'll actually probably have upgraded enough so that you don't uh, need a full set of leather armor. You'll probably have something metal, and I doubt combat, but um, point being is it's going to get outdated pretty quick. So no need to focus on it too much. So yeah, so that is going to be the beginning of... Um, I guess what I would call this first section before we start actually fighting enemies. This first video is not going to be very action oriented. It's going to be, who's that? He's on the other side. Yeah, you want to exit out that side because the other side is where the raiders, raiders will be and we actually aren't powerful enough right now to fight them. So pick your battles when you can because some of them aren't going to be worth fighting. Not quite yet at least. Um, and there's actually one more building we could probably loot, and it is this one. There are going to be a potential for raiders close by, but you can actually avoid them pretty easily. So, let's see. Yeah, this guy's always going to be dead, and we don't need any of the other stuff he has. So you'll get a chance for some pretty decent stuff. At least some a little bit more okay so no and not in the tool cases but in the tool boxes you'll be able to find um, usually a pretty good source of duct tape and sometimes the tool the, the flat ones but 
Anyways, one of the last tips I'm gonna give for this um, short, shorter first video is gonna be, you want to look for glowing fungus. Now glowing fungus can be around rivers, it can be randomly in the dirt. Uh, usually it's around some sort of landmark. So this landmark in this instance is going to be right here. So yeah, that is glowing fungus. There's also brain fungus, which you can use to create I think like something along the lines of mintats and things of that sort, but yeah, we don't really we don't really need that quite yet. So let's see how close we are to our next level. Because ideally, we'd like to get to level thirteen. So actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cheese our way to level thirteen just so we can uh, save a little bit of adhesive early game, so we can start focusing on upgrading other things. Uh, coming up so i will see y'all in a second it won't really take too long and then i'll be back i'll be level 13 so see you in a sec okay so after a quick bit of power leveling of which i'm not tremendously proud of so all you do is go to the water pump and press x to fill up bottles by the way uh we are to level 13 level 13 is pretty much the sweet spot for where we're going to want to be uh to start the playthrough now you could obviously play it out at from level one the issue is is that you're not going to be dealing a lot of damage and you're going to be taking a lot of damage so there are ways around it you could uh, play from a farther bit away but that's not the easiest and not the best way it's not the most powerful way to make your character and uh eventually you would hit those levels anyways as there's no le level cap so i don't really feel as bad about doing it consider, consider um, eventually you're going to run out of stuff to get to or uh, get as perks anyways, which is going to be around like a level 115 to 130-ish area. Right around there, you're just going to totally run out of uh, things, and you're going to be pretty much trying to grasp at straws of what to get. But by level 70-ish is about when our character will be, for the most part, complete and about as powerful as we're going to get. So, yeah, so I'm going to pump all the rest of the water off screen and instead I'm going to show you our next level up stuff. So for our next level up we're going to go with gun nut and then I'm going to save two perk points for rifleman. The reason we don't need armor is because you don't get uh, dense armor until armor three I believe and you can get padded right off the bat so there's really no benefit to it especially because investing into armor like I said is pretty fleeting because uh, the basic stuff is in, the basic upgrades are going to be enough and you don't there's the perk points are valuable in the sense that you want to spend them wisely especially early on so I'm going to save the rest of them and now I will create hopefully a pretty powerful weapon since we have a really upgraded uh okay so we need aluminum actually so where a good source of aluminum is going to be is actually I think we might be able to find some aluminum right over here. Let's see. Okay, so there's one aluminum. And I don't know what all we're going to need uh, as far as aluminum goes. But we actually need to go back to the speakeasy. So I'm going to cut this out as well. And I will show you all when we're back at the speakeasy. All right, so we're back in the speakeasy. And there should be some aluminum potentially, yeah, on the ground. Oh, we also missed a couple bottles and things of that sort. Now, the most of the aluminum, I think, should be down below. Yeah, not a ton. Not as much as I would hope. Uh, I don't think there's any aluminum gas canisters, but just with the off chance there is. Why don't I grab that as well? Um, yeah, so I guess what we got to look for now is just a source of aluminum, which we actually might have some uh, fair amount back at, <coughs> back at Sanctuary. So... Um, once again, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to cut to when we're back at Sanctuary. So yeah, I'll see you then. And then, um, or maybe I'll, I'll cut when we get back to Red Rocket. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you on a sec. Okay, so after getting back to Sanctuary, I have found that we have a fair amount of aluminum. And I'm just going to look through all of this just to... Make sure we grab all the aluminum we can and pretty much all the other things that might be of value. Um, considering we, yeah, we can grab springs, why not? Screws are good. Oil can be good. Gold can be potentially good. 
Gold can be good for like laser weapons and things of that sort. So yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Cork can potentially be good. And this is all used for building things. So other than that, let's see. I think we should be good. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'll cut out us running back to Red Rocket and then we can finally create our weapon. So yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, so now that we're back at Red Rocket, we can try and see if we've got any more. Yeah, we have some more drugs to create and we can make one more Psycho Jet. Like I said, Psycho Jet is great. And then we can create our first antibiotic. Antibiotics are also fantastic. So we're going to have to keep our eye out for um, things like acid and that sort of thing. So I'm actually going to keep the fusion cells on us for in a second. Um, I'll grab that. So yeah, we're going to use the hard hat actually. And so now I'll get to create our, finally create our uh, pipe pistol and we'll be able to create pretty much any kind we want. So the first thing I would do is I would create the best receiver. Then I would change, to, oh wait, not that, sorry. Let's go to a quick eject uh, drum mag. And then you want to go to barrel and max that out as well. So some of this stuff is, you know, optional. Um, yeah, and I would probably, I would probably just go with this, because uh, we're not going to be using a lot of, um, a lot of vats. So this would be better for vats, but this is better in general since it's automatic. And um, then I'm going to go with glow sites because that's usually what I go with for that. And then we have options. We can. I'm actually going to go with. Uh, muzzle break because it gives us the best uh, range and we're not really going to be sneaking around exactly so I don't really care about all that so yeah that is our um, initial build so this is what our weapons gonna look like now all of our drugs created so the final thing that I would do if I were you is I would create a bed if we can let's see if we can create a bed or if we need more materials we can so yeah just create a bed I also created a source of water uh, a second ago and yeah then we're gonna I always sleep until about, I sleep for at least 10 hours, and then I sleep till right around 6, but I'll sleep till 5 this time around. Uh, 5, 6, 6, 6 a.m. is about when it gets light out, but uh, that won't matter anyways because we're going to go into a cave after this, but uh, I will save that for the next episode. So that is going to be it for this episode. If y'all enjoyed this type of series where it's like a guide, like uh, survival playthrough, permadeath, 100% of the game. Uh, let me know and I will be sure to get the official episode one out um, as soon as possible. I know some, a lot of people were interested in Fallout 4, an actual playthrough, a solid regular playthrough. So yeah, y'all let me know if that is something that interests y'all. And uh, yeah, if it does, I'll be sure to get that out at least once a week. I'll probably make it like a, I don't know, like a Monday or Tuesday series, something, something to supplement the fallout new vegas series and anything else i do as well so yeah i hope y'all enjoy be sure to like if y'all enjoyed the video likes go a long way like i said uh give me a good gauge of how y'all like the video and help my channel grow subscribe if you enjoyed it see more um if you're a new subscriber be sure to comment or if you have anything else to say uh say so down in the comments and i'll get back to you so thanks for watching i will see y'all in the next episode peace out